Good day everyone! Today we will be talking about the physical education and sports in Greece. Physical education was a vital part of education in every Greek boy. Gymnastics was believed to contribute to courage, discipline, and physical well-being. Greek sports manifested itself in the concept of the mature athlete, whose primary goal is to compete in a circuit of four major national festivals that were designated as the Pan-Hellenic Festivals, which were event most important in the lives of every Greeks and is scheduled to ensure that one major competition was held every year. We have the Olympia Festival, the Phytea Festival, the Nemea Festival, and the Etsmia Festival. The Olympia Festival was at Olympia every four years in honor of Zeus, Winners receive wild olive leaves. And the Fetea Festival was held at Delphi, at the soccer site of Apollo, the god of light and truth, every four years, and laurel for the winners. The Nemea Festival, in honor of Zeus, was held in Nemea at Argolis every two years, and for the winners, parsley, celery. The Ismea Festival, at Korik, in honor of Poseidon, the Sea of God, was held every two years and winners received fine needles. The Spartan approach to physical training, not physical education, was a strictly education of the physical, which means that the training of the body was most important for military purposes. Sparta and Athens had a very different education styles. In Athens, physical education and athletic competitions were prominent features of Athenian education. Sports was associated with philosophy, music, literature, painting, and particularly with uh, sculpture. And ideal Athenian education was to achieve a proper balance in moral, mental, physical, and aesthetic development. Athens focus on the arts and skills such as speaking and writing. There were some Greek philosophers and teachers and medical men who contributed the work of physical education. We have Plato. Plato believed that gymnastics and music which were identified as physical education and academics respectively educate the body and mind and soul. His argument in his Republic is that the mission of the physical education in the schools blend with movements. We also had Aristotle. He believed that athletics enables youth to develop strong, healthy citizens who would defend Athens in time of war and serve her in the time of peace. We also have Herodotus uh, use physical education as an aid to medicine as early as the 5th century. Next, we have also Hippocrates. Hippocrates uh, proclaimed the law of use and disuse of the parts of the body. He believed that the parts of the body are strengthened through use. Muscles atrophy and weakness are results of disuse. We have Xenophon. Xenophon taught of physical education as important in terms of military. Physical education in Egypt. Popular activities in ancient Egypt were swimming since civilization life was based on rivers. Wrestling, which was participated in uh, the nobility, the soldiers, the merchants, and the skilled laborers, and gymnastics activities and games using the skills for fighting and war. Gymnastics exercises were required exercises to make the body supple, strong, and capable of great endurance and stamina. One of the most popular indoor activities was a board game called Senen. Dancers were both religious and folk dances. In physical education in Europe, particularly in Germany, we have Johann Berhard Beisdo, founded the Philanthropinium in 1774, somewhat a map school where three hours of the 10-hour school days was to be spent for recreational activities such as fencing, riding, dancing, and music. 
We also have Johann Christoph Friedrich Gosmos, the real founder of physical education, legitimized the PE profession. He believed that in the promotion of people's health to have a strong nation, Gosmos is considered the real founder of physical education and grandfather of physical education. We also have Friedrich Wilhelm August Priobel establish the theory of play that supports the place and purpose of physical education. He believed that play is the form of physical education was a wonderful mechanism for stress reduction and character and moral development. We also have Friedrich Ludwig John, father of gymnastic skills. He established the German Torberin movement in the spring of 1811. The word was coined from the extinct Teutonic Tormen or Tornen to perform gymnastics exercises. He was called Torbator, father of gymnastics. His system of gymnastics was more political in nature. We also have adults peace. Emphasis marching exercises like calisthenics. The students were uh, developed good postures. Believe that PE program should be a uh, progressive from simple exercises to more difficult and advocate exercises combined with music for free expression and uh, believe in marching exercises as aid in class organizations, discipline, and postures development. So let's go for the physical education in Sweden. We have Per Henrik Lee, was the founder of the Swedish medical and pedagogical gymnastics, the art of science in teaching. We also have Lars Gabriel Branting, devoted most of his time to the area of medical gymnastics, where his teachings were based on the premise that activity caused changes not only in the muscular system of the body, but also in the nervous and circulatory system. According to Branting, participating in physical activity is a crucial rule in the development of circulatory system. We also have John Mar Predlick. Ling was credited the organization of educational gymnastics. And now let's go for the physical education in the United States. Sports, dance, and dramatic enactments were incorporated into Native Americans' festive celebration. Physical powers, cunning, skillfulness, endurance were valued. Bangkata Way was popular and rituals often surround the game shiny a game similar to field hockey in which a stick is used to propel a ball was played by uh, both men and women swimming archery various type of ball games and games of chance were other popular activities among the native americans the first horse race was a quarter mile long a distance that eventually gave birth to the virginia quarter horse southerners also enjoy fox hunt, hunting, fishing, rowing, lawn bowling, dancing, cockfighting, boxing, and fencing is also popular in the U.S. We also have Tom Molenyuk. He was the American first well-known pugilist who gained his freedom from slavery by fighting the southern plantation circuit. Now let's go for the China. Physical education in China exercise in an idea of little interest of the Chinese society. Physical activities were confined to the military men. They were given examinations of lifting the weight, shooting the bow, and handling the sword. And you also have the dances, the archery, and songs of uh, rich people, rich families engaged in music also. Recreational games and sports such as early versions of soccer, polo, chess, and competition in archery and wrestling were practiced. Tug of war and water games also popular in China. When ancient Chinese felt weak, Kung Fu, a mild exercises similar to gymnastics oriented calisthenics and developed in 2698 BC, was designed to prevent diseases and keep the holy in good organic condition. And that was physical education in China. Learning theories in physical education. 
the physical educator is concerned with facilitating learning in three domains. The cognitive learning, the affective learning, and the psychomotor learning. The concern of physical educator is teaching for cognitive learning is increasing the individual's knowledge, improving problem solving abilities, and clarifying, understanding, and developing and identifying concepts. In effective learning, in teaching for effective learning, the physical educator is concerned with attitude, appreciation, and values. It is concerned with how learners feel what they are learning. And the psychomotor learning, this type of learning is the heart of the physical education experience. And uh, the development of motor skills is concerned in teaching for psychomotor learning. And that's all for today. I hope you will learn something from me. Again, thank you.